In the previous part of this series, we learned about the shared table and how it can be used to share state from the server to the client. But what about the other way around? It's not very common that the client part of a script needs to send data to the server, but it does happen frequently when dealing with user interfaces. Let's create a welcome screen and wait for all clients to press a button until the game starts. Drawing the welcome screen has to happen from the client draw callback. We can put interactive elements like buttons in there just like we normally would. It will run independently on each client, so the server part of the script doesn't know when a button is pressed unless it's explicitly told about it. This can be done with the server call function. It will initiate a function call into the server part of the script from a client. Note that the client doesn't wait for the call to happen. It may, in fact, happen several frames later, depending on network latency. So there are no guarantees for when the call happens, but all server calls are guaranteed to happen on the server in the exact same order they were issued. You can pass function arguments to the server call that will be available on the other side, but since the call happens later, you cannot return anything back, so think of it as a one-way communication channel. In our case, we want to make a server call when the ready button is pressed, and we'll pass our own player ID so that the server knows which player is ready. On the server side, we receive the player ID and remember the state of each player in the ready table. In the server tick function, while looping over players, we can now also check if they have clicked the ready button. Only if all players have clicked the button, we set the play flag in the shared table to tell the clients that it's time to start playing. On the client side, we now have to check the flag and display the welcome screen only until it's time to start playing. This way of communicating using the shared table in one direction and server call in the other direction is typical for implementing user interfaces, but it can be used for other things as well. In the next part of the series, we'll look at the closely related client call that lets the server call functions on the client.